Uh, go yes to one. I'm a woman. I didn't mean to be a woman. <laughs> oh, hey, welcome to the Annoying Arts Gaming Channel. This is the greatest gaming channel run by a bunch of fruits. And welcome to the old West. This game is called West of Loathing. And we're going to play a new game. Oh, yeah. Wanted for protagonizing. Blanche Holiday. Reward 69 meat. Oh, 609 meat. I can't count so good. Hey, look at this. You can shoot at the ducks. Ducky shoot. Bing. Bang. I want one of the dollies. You can't get one of the dollies. Edit your name. Okay. Edit my name. Okay. We're going to play. And it's going to be really awesome. Now, I know we could be a bean slinger or a snake oiler. But I think I'd rather be a cow puncher. Uh, I saw Markiplier play, play this game, so I was like, you know what? I, I think I should play this game. I'm as popular a U uh, YouTube gamer as him. <laughs> Why do I have long hair? Anywho, let's look around. You read the spine of one of your books, The Secret of the Eerie Woods. Mom gave me this one a few years ago. Oh, let's read another title. Stella Drew is and the Spooky Bridge. I remember that one. Yeah, I'm done with this. Okay, the weird poster here. Oh, th see, look at this. This weird poster appeared here one night. It's it's how you move around. You see, they're trying to be funny. It's a really funny thing. It's a really funny game. But let's let's get to the old western. Goodbye, desk. I'm gonna comb my hair. Oh, look at this. I'm already getting experience points. It's like I'm a natural at this game. I can play. Ain't got nothing on me. Okay. Hey, bird. Hey, Russell, how you doing? I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Caw, caw, caw. I'm gonna feed this, this dude, Russell, a cricket. You grab a cricket from your cricket bag and you feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles in your hand. You know what? Russell and I, we have a special, special relationship. I am gonna miss him even though I just met him. Goodbye, Russell. Be good. And we got a little phonograph over here. Goodbye. I'm gonna turn you off. Pull the needle away from the cylinder and you stole it. Oh, wait. Turn off the music. Oh, well, that was, that was boring. I liked the music. We've got to get more music. Let's say goodbye, bed. Time to head west to chase my real dreams. I get it, the fake dreams that were there. Okay, so we've got a little bit of firewood. We're going to stack that up. Oh, look at all the experience points. I got, I got no meat. I think meat is the currency in this game. You're going to miss mom's cooking. Yeah, I am. Mom was, mom was great. She, she cooked the venison and the cow beef. It was pretty, make, pretty good. She also had a pie safe. It keeps all her pies safe. <laughs> oh, look at this. Your little brother's room. He's got books that I can't understand. What a weird kid. You pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Lecture Ace Geo that, that None of it makes sense to me. What has he got for toys? Uh, oh, look. He's got a puzzle cube. A Rubik's Cube. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's covered with all weird diagrams and charts. I think my little brother's a nerd. He's looking he's all how tidy and whatnot. Oh, we got stuff in here. Oh, so if you just look in the... Oh, yeah, I know. I just got that. Oh, I suppose... I suppose it's just alerting me. <laughs> okay. So let's get on. Let's get a move on. I'm going to miss my family. Oh, I can say goodbye to them. Wonderful. Hi, Mommy. Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, Mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. Oh, you got me a present. Is it a milkshake or a protein shake? I'll take it. Oh, it's not. Oh, wait, I gotta read this. Uh, it's that book you wanted for Crimbo. I know it's early, but... Uh, the one about picking locks? The one about desert survival? The one about bartering? Oh, I think it's giving me a skill upgrade. I'll take the bartering. Please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. Yeah, I will, Ma. See you later. And Dad, what do you got? Dad, okay, Dad, your father morosely jabs at the haystack. Uh, yeah, that hat doesn't fit you, Dad. I'll grow into it. It's time for me to leave. Uh, it's, uh, his lip quivers a little. Listen, I, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's brass knuckles. Well, thanks, Grandma was a tough broad. Uh, thanks, Dad. Good luck out there. Uh, be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I already did that. Dad, I did. Ah, uh, it's a haystack. I wonder if I can find... I was just going to say a needle. That's hilarious. I found a needle in a haystack. That's how good I am at video games. It's amazing. Look it. It's right there. Uh, I got a book called Mind Your Meat. Uh, gives you the dickering skill. I think that means, uh, you know, uh, getting the best possible deal on every single thing you buy. Okay, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. I got a skill. I go. Oh, it's a good thing I read it. Uh, I'm glad. Oh, I gained 60 meat. I don't know. I guess there was 60 meat inside. 
<laughs> All right, so I got the dickering skill. Oh, and there's a little nerdy brother. Hey, nerdy brother. Hey, his name's Rufus. Hey, Rufus. He just stand there looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. He's kind of just a dweeb. Uh, you hand him the puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it. Yeah, goodbye, dude. I still don't understand why you're leaving, he says. Like, he's got a point, you know. Why are you going, Wes? I'm, I, either I'm going to help people. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm the grapefruit. Uh, to seek my fortune, that sounds... It sounds about right, but you know, uh, I'm, I'm gonna do it and get off a stupid farm. But it's so dangerous. 60% of the people who go west get killed within a year, and that statistic is from before the cows came home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be okay, dude. I'll miss you, Rufus. I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay, you give him a playful punch in the arm. I could have punched him a little harder. I think I would have liked to. Uh, go yes to one. I'm a woman. I didn't mean to be a woman. Yeah. We'll just keep going and ignore that part. Whoops. Whoopsie do. West of Lothin. And riding on a cart. It's directed by Jack Johnson. And I can totally skip over these credits if I want to. Because they're boring. All right. And, it, and I'm sure it was spectacular. I'm good for all those people who made an awesome game. But look out for this drunk dude. Hey, Missy. You see my hit horse? Anywhere around? Yeah, whatever, dude. Oh, look, a turnip. I'll take it. I got a dusty turnip. This turnip is turned up. Yeah, this game's turned up. I'm turned up. The BS Horsery. Gone drinking. Whoa, what, what is this? What's that? No, oh, it's caca. I, I didn't mean to. Oof, and I just walked into a tree. Man, that, that is some poop. All right, let's go inside the saloon. As you walk into the saloon, the crazy-eyed guy sitting in the left of the door shrieks and waves to you to get your attention. Hey, where's your hat, dagnabbit? Uh, you can't drink in here without a hat. Tape proper. Yeah, I'm underage too, uh, so I'm not going to be drinking. This is just for the purposes of the game. I'm going to check out this box with a take a hat, leave a hat box. And there's a hat for me, and I'm going to take it. Thanks, sir, uh, Pete. Thanks, Pete. He gives you a friendly, uh, a somewhat twitchy nod. Say, gal, yeah? You heading west? If you want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. All right, weird old guy who wants to come with me. Uh, I'll, I'll keep it in mind. <laughs> oh, look, a spit thing. It's a spittoon. People spit into it, you know, without even looking in it. And that's absolutely disgusting. I'm going to look inside it. Yeah, it's full of spit, regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum, and it looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting, and the smell, even from a distance, it smells horrible. I know they're just trying to dissuade me from looking in here, so I'm going to look closer. It is a video game, after all. You are now on your hands and knees, peering into the filth-encrusted spittoon. I don't, I don't understand what's wrong with you. Wait, is there something shining at the bottom? I knew it! I'm going to get it! I'm going to hesitate. No, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm going to never surrender! You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes a sound like glop. Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. I'm still going to search. And you got an ostrum. A nasty ring. I am. I got a nasty ring. You know, when you get stuff in games like this, you need. You need to have it. Okay, let's play some cards with these guys. They're trying to play poker. They keep looking back and forth with my hands at the how to play poker card. <laughs> oh, man. These guys are suckers. Uh, I'm going to play. Look, I have some meat. Again, meat is money in this game. Let's play. 20 meat. Uh, I'm going to bet aggressively because the blue thing next to it. Okay, read them and weep. You show a pair of tens plus two, three king. The guy in the left has a full house. Two jacks and three aces. Uh-oh. And the guy in the right somehow got a straight flush. Two through six in hearts. Uh, I win or let's just intimidate them. <laughs> you explain the jacks are worth 9 points apiece, giving the guy on the left a total of 21 points, and the guy on the right 20, and, you, and you're 25 plus a king. The king means that they have to either pay you in human teeth or an extra 10 meat each. They gasp and put more meat across the table. They fell for it. I mean, I got 50 meat out of that. All right, I'm getting out of here. See you later. <laughs> Oops, I don't, no, I didn't want to leave there. I, I, there's got to be stuff to going on here. Uh, reward for lost mugs. 25 meat each. Okay, well, that's good to know. The bartender finally notices me. Howdy, cowgirl. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Mabel. What brings you to our little backwater? I need work. Okay, unfortunately, Boring Springs already has more people in it than jobs. 
It's more of an errand town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend talking to the railroad people up at Dirtwater. Ah, uh, Dirtwater, that sounds like a horrible place. Uh, what about these errands? I bet you I could earn some money. Yeah, this Forsaken Berg is always falling apart one way or another. The horse was always needing help since he hurt his leg, and that no-account sheriff uh, could certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for him. And anything else? Well, I've got a goblin loose in the base. A goblin. A goblin, she says. All of a sudden, this is like Lord of the Rings. Some cowpoke from the, the gulch didn't wipe his boots off and got spores everywhere. Yeah, I could probably handle a goblin. Much obliged. I'll unlock, unlock the basement for you. Oh, and you'll need this. A weak fungicide. Thank you very much, you weirdo. Okay. Hey, Horace. He's a town hostler. I don't know what that is. I'm a horse selling guy. Oh, yeah. How's that working out for you? Oh, those horses are just flying out the door. Uh, so business is booming? No, oh, they keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Is that why you're here drinking instead? Uh, yep, and uh, being here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. <laughs> it's one of those vicious cycle things. Okay, this dude, this guy, not somebody you want to trifle with. Oh, hello, lady. Oh, you should probably just let her drink. Okay, she's meanie. And what about you, uh, little Ash LaRue? Oh, you're telling me to leave him alone, too. Later in the game, we're gonna chat. So what's going on over here? Ooh. It's a whiskey box. What's this? Hey. Oh, it's a... It, I get some free whiskey. Thank you. Nurse brand whiskey. And this, that's gotta be the goblin. Hey, goblin! Uh, the goblin says, Briark! Okay, I'm gonna attack this guy. Let's fight him. The first fight of the game! It's me versus the goblin! I'm gonna power up with some meat. All right, let's get beefy. Plus two muscle. And now I'm gonna punch this dude. Boom! Nine hit points. Oh, he totally missed. What a loser. Let's shoot him. I got a gun. Oh, oh he's negative two. It's a, it, was it an invisible gun? I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, I'm not... Ooh, what does this fungicide do? This will deal 25... Oh. <laughs> Look at this. 25 damage to the target, assuming the target is a goblin. I'm gonna spray this dude with the fungicide. Dude, dude, you, you, you can't beat the fungicide, goblin weirdo. Victory is mine! I am the strongest grapefruit alive. And the best grapefruit uh, that... Oh, I should just press the key to continue. Okay, three experience points. And I muscled up. All right, let's head back upstairs. All right, man, this place is awesome. What's this? Ooh, pile of old new papers. I'll take those. You got an item. Boring Springs Gazette, April 20th, 1895. Well, that's good to know. All right, let's go tell this bartender what I did. Look how amazing I am. I'm your hero. Good to see you again, Mabel. I took care of that goblin. Thank you kindly, Mabel. I knew you would stand up gal the moment you walked in here. He reaches down to the bar and grabs a bag of meat. Here you go. 200 meat. I'm going to tip my hat to that. Who's a lady drinking whiskey out of a beer mug? That's Susie. She's a rancher from nearby, a real truck broad. I ain't recommend you pester her. Why is that? Well, the whole family to a, a cow attack. Cows attack? Got some pent-up frustrations about it. Ouch. Okay, maybe we just leave, uh, leave her alone. Oh, wow. Well, I really like this game. This game is super-duper fun. If you guys like it, let me know. If you want me to keep me playing, let me know. The old Wild West, man. It's And, and this is west of loading. So, uh, I'm Grapefruit. Make sure you subscribe for Daily Gaming here on the channel. And we'll see you next time, kids. Oh, yeah.